Hey guys, it's Mrs. Cheryl here, um, working with the Cartesian Diver experiment or investigation, and I wanted to give you um, an alternative to the materials. So, because um, not everybody has modeling clay at home, um, I haven't tried chewed up gum. It may or may not work like modeling clay. It is kind of gross. So here's an alternative. Okay, so what you're going to need for this alternative is you're going to need a lighter, okay, um, something, some sort of light source or heat source, okay. You're also going to need uh, something to hold the straw with that can withstand the flame, so some pliers or um, you could actually put it through, um, or hold it between two coins just don't get your fingers too close um, and I, I have put in a video in the course player to show you a uh, way to do it using coins all right um, everything else is pretty much the same um, so what you're going to need is a two liter bottle now my two liter bottle I've already taken off the um, the wrapper of it so you can actually see. Um, I've already filled it all the way to the, pretty much to the top um, of water. I mean, I have a, a rag here just to place underneath so if anything were to get out any water, uh, it's dry. You need scissors. You need three straws. You're going to cut them into different lengths. So you do need a ruler with inches. Although in science we use the metric system so this lab having us do it in inches is a little strange. Um, and for this modification, you're going to need nine paper clips, nine of them, okay? And that's to help weight down your um, divers. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, let me clear this out a little bit, is you're going to measure each of your straws to the specified um, length. Now, I'm going to make my yellow one two inches because you need a two inch, a three inch, and a four inch. So you can see here that I'm putting it on the side. I find two inches and I'm just going to snip. Okay. And then discard the other side. I'm going to take a different color. I have different colors. If you have just one color, just reuse the straw. I mean, you have more space on that straw to do the three inch one. Um, but then I'm going to use the red, so yellow is two inches, red is going to be three inches. It's flying at me. Okay. And then green is going to be four inches. Now, in your instructions, here's part of the modification. In your instructions, it does say to keep the bendy part. I do have bendy straws that I'm using, uh, and it says to keep the bendy part. For this one, you don't. For the modification, you do not keep the bendy part. So don't keep this bendy part because we're not going to bend them, all right? Um, so what we're doing to trap the air inside is that's what we need our heat source for, is we're going to clamp down. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna clamp down on the end with some space there left over, okay? And I'm going to melt the end so it adheres to itself. Just heat it up a little bit and then I'm gonna keep it clamped so it can actually cool. Blow on it a little bit. And I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm sealing one end, one end only. And then I'm gonna unclamp it. Okay, so now you can see that that is all together. All right, now um, you're gonna do it for the other two, but I've already pre-made some. Okay, so I already have these clamped down. My yellow is the two, the red is the three, the green is the four, so I'm gonna put these off to the side. The next thing you're going to have to do is put weights. That's what the modeling clay was for, was actually to weight down your Cartesian diver. So in your two inch, in your two inch Cartesian diver, you're going to need three paper clips. 
three paper clips. Put them all, and I just insert them inside the bottom of the diver, okay? If some of it comes out, that's okay. You just need it as a weight. Set it aside. For your three inch, your three inch, which was my red one, you need three paper clips. So I have three paper clips. I'm putting them all together and insert them in. Some of it hanging out. Now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put them together, the ends of them together and see how I'm uneven. I'm gonna try to actually even them out with the weights just to make everything kind of try to be uniform. And you'll see it on this last one. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. On this last one, my four inch one, you only want two paper clips. Now, if you're experimenting with this and this doesn't work with two, go to three and see if it works. The, what we're trying to do, the, the goal is when you put them in your cart in the bottle, they don't sink, they actually float. Okay, but we want them to be um, floating enough to where they're bottom and I'm gonna make sure that these are level, the same height. Okay, the, but we want to make sure that they're, they're bobbing up and down. So now that I have those ready, what I'm gonna do is put my paper towel or my, my uh, cloth down. I'm gonna take my water bottle. Okay, as you can, oh, you can't really see. Let me just zoom in. Okay, the water is all the way up to the top here. Okay, maybe I can show you a little bit so you can see. All right. All right, so now I'm going to take my three Cartesian divers. All right, my three, and I'm gonna place them Oh, see, that's what I get for squeezing the bottle. All right, I'm gonna put them in. Oh, bummer, that one already sank. Well, bother. Let me do this. They're supposed to be sticking out of the top and you put the lid on. And now, when I squeeze, you have to squeeze so hard, I'm not kidding. Um, this was like me trying for a million times to get this to work and my hands started to, to hurt and what I think can happen is what's happening to me is your straw can kind of stick to the bot or to the side and not want to work and as I'm squeezing so hard you can see I'm already failing. So let me do a couple adjustments and add some more water, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've made a couple of adjustments, and let me just really quickly address what just happened. I tried this before the video, and it completely worked. Now I'm making the video, and of course it's not going to work, but that is science. Science, we have trials, we have errors, we have successes. We learn from the errors just like I did. So I refilled up the water. Now notice there's no cap on it yet, so I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to squeeze the bottle like happened before. Um, I do have the three divers sitting in the bottle, and you can see that they're floating. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. But let me, before I cap it, I'm going to take them out. And what I did was I reduced the amount of paper clips in all of them to two. Okay, so there's only two paper clips in each of them. We're gonna try this, okay? I have not tested this yet, so let's see how this goes. So they're all sticking, I'm gonna go at, whoops, there's a little bit too much water. Some of it's coming out, that's okay. All right, that's why we have the towel underneath. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze, and there we go. There goes one guy. Now I'm gonna squeeze harder and see if I can get the other ones to drop. My little one likes to work. So what I'm thinking is maybe there's not enough weight in, oh, there we go. That's just a t adhering to the top. That's my problem. So I've got 
the Medherium. If you see, I have some working already. So I have some experimental error going on in this lab um, because there's some adhesion to um, from the straw to the plastic lid, I'm assuming. So what I'm going to try to do real quick is maybe let some of this water out just a teeny, 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 teeny bit so that it doesn't touch the lid. There we go, maybe that. All right, Let's see if that worked. Oh, my red guy still likes to stay up top, doesn't he? Well, all right, let's try one more thing. This guy's not floating. All right, let's try a third weight in here. Let's just see what happens. See, notice he still floats as I put him in, so that third weight's not gonna make him sink. It did make that yellow one sink though, didn't it? All right, and now let's see if this works. No, it's still not gonna work. Something's going on with my red guy. And as I tested him earlier, he worked before. So, um, unfortunately for my experiment, when I'm filling out my report and my data, I'm going to put zeros or that it didn't sink or whatever observations I'm going to have for this guy. And that's the way it goes. Now in my, my lab, I'm going to talk about experimental error possibilities, where things could have gone wrong, what could have happened. Maybe I didn't trap enough water in. Let me take these guys out, try one more time. I'm going to put two weights in. This is the scientist in me. I can I don't like to give up without it being successful. Sometimes we have to. All right, so I have them in there. I'm going to try them all by himself. See if that works. All right. I can get him to stand straight up, but I cannot get him to dive. Hmm. shake it and get him off of that. Oh, he's just not going to work. Well, hopefully yours does. Mine didn't. So in my lab report, I would indicate that. I would talk about that and uh, let you know why I think that had an issue. But hopefully this is helpful for you so you don't need that modeling clay because I know at my house, I don't have modeling clay. And so um, there, here's an alternative. All right, guys, good luck with it. Bye.